Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's Family Nature Club, part of our 2020 Imagine Your Story Summer Reading Program. My name is Miss Mary, and I am Storytime Programmer here at the Faulkner County Library in Conway, Arkansas. And I'm just glad that you've joined me this morning. I'm out in the garden behind the library this morning, and today we're talking about berries. Who likes berries? I like berries. You can find berries at the store. You can find berries in gardens. You can find berries in the woods. You can find berries all sorts of places right now. This morning we're going to read Jam Berry. We're going to do a little berry rhyme. And then we're going to go looking for berries in this garden. And then we're going to do a berry sorting activity. So let's get started, everyone. All right, here is Jam Berry by Bruce Deegan. What do you see on the cover of this book? I see a couple of hats, a kid, a bear, and berries all over the place. This is published by HarperCollins Publishing. And here we go. Oh, there's a dedication, it says, for my special berry picker and the two little berries. One berry, two berry, pick me a blueberry. And look at those blueberries. Yum, I like blueberries. Hat berry, shoe berry, in my canoe berry. Oh, that is so silly. Who's ever heard of a canoe berry? So look at that. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Do you make jam from berries? Yeah, you sure can. Oh no, look, they went over the waterfall with their, with all their berries. Three berry, four berry, hay berry, strawberry, finger and paw berry, my berry, your berry. Oh, look, they're sharing their strawberries. Strawberry pony, strawberry lambs, dancing in meadows of strawberry jam. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a meadow of strawberry jam before. Quack berry, quack berry, pick me a blackberry. Ooh, blackberries are my favorite. Train berry, track berry, clickety clack berry. It's a berry train. Choo choo. Rumble and ramble and blackberry bramble. Billions of berries for blackberry jamble. Do you think they mean blackberry jam? Look at all those blackberries. Hey, look, there's a goose driving the train. Raspberry, jazzberry, razzmatazzberry, berry band, merry band, jamming in. Fairyland. Look at that band. What kind of music do you think it's playing? Raspberry rabbits, brassberry band, elephant skating on raspberry jam. Uh oh. <laughs> Moonberry, starberry, cloudberry sky, boomberry, zoomberry, rocket shoot by. That makes me think of Independence Day celebrations and fireworks. Mountains and fountains rain down on me, buried in berries. What a jam jamboree! Look, there's blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and blackberries. <sighs> and that's the end. Though at the back, the author wrote, when I was a little boy, berries never came from a store. We found them in the fields. Grandma would take a pot, grandpa would take a can, and I would take my pail. We picked and picked and didn't come home until we had filled them up with berries. Then we would sit in the kitchen, eat fresh washed berries with sour cream and sugar, while the house filled with the warm smell of blueberry pie in the oven and blackberry jam cooking on the stove. I still love looking for berries in fields, but now my wife and two sons and I do the picking. We fill cans and pots and pails with berries and then have a feast of pies and jams and berries with lots of cream. Bruce Deegan, the end. I hope you enjoyed Jam Berry. It's almost like reading about somebody's berry dream, but it's kind of fun. Um, a couple of librarians have came up with a little rhyme 
to go with jam berry and it's super cute. I'm gonna teach you it goes under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, looking for jam. One berry, two berries, pick me up. Blueberry, yay! Okay, here we go. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Three berries, four berries, pick me a strawberry. Okay, here we go. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Five berries, six berries, pick me a blackberry. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Seven berries, eight berries, pick me a red cherry. Yeah. Last one. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Nine berries, ten berries, pick me a raspberry yay woohoo okay next we're gonna go on a hunt in the library garden for three different kinds of berries we're gonna look for blackberries and we're going to go looking for some blueberries we're gonna look for some strawberries. All right, let's go on a hunt. Okay, here we go. Hmm. I don't see any berries on this tree. I think that's a fig tree. Oh, uh, there's one of the trees behind the library. Cool. I think that's a fruit tree. Wonder where we could find those blueberries. <gasps> Wait a minute. What are these? Well, they do look like the small round berries in the picture. Let's see. Some of them are kind of a light blue color. Let's pull out our picture and compare. Blueberries. What do you think? I think we might have found them. Yay! I'm gonna pick one and eat it. Mmm, mmm. Good stuff. Look. Oh, these are also blueberries, but they're pink. Oh my goodness. Did you guys know that they're pink blueberries? I think they're called pink lemonade blueberries. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Mmm, that one was sweet. With the little tang at the end. So, ooh, I'm so glad we found some blueberries. I think those are more blueberries back there. Okay, where shall we look next? Hmm, do you guys see any berries? Any blackberries or strawberries? Wait, those are red. Are those strawberries? Let's pull out our cards and compare. So that's what strawberries look like. No, they look like raspberries, but wait, there's, there's a dark one. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe these are blackberries and they're red before they turn black. Okay, let's pull out our card and check. Let's see. Blackberries and blackberries. Yeah, those do look an awful lot alike. I think we found the blackberries. I'm gonna taste one just to make sure. Mmm, oh, that's a good blackberry. A little tart. Wow, guys. 
Look at these. These are more blackberries. I'm going to walk through them. <laughs> going to duck under the branches. And then come back up. Wow. This is amazing. All right. Let's see if we can find some strawberries. Hmm. Those don't look like strawberries. Those look like flowers. Yeah. I see flowers. Oh. Yellow flowers. And look at that pink and white flower. More flowers. I think that's lavender. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of purple like the lavender. Come flowers. Echinacea. Hmm. No strawberries though. More cone flowers, yellow flowers. Hmm. There's our fairy tale garden and our beanstalk, but we know there aren't any strawberries over there. Huh, I think I see some plants and pots over here on the porch. Let's go look at those. Mm, looks like maybe some lettuces down there. Hmm, that doesn't look like strawberries. Well, I don't see any strawberries, but the sign says strawberries. And I think those are strawberry leaves. I think this is it. I think it's just there aren't any berries on here, but there are little, look, there's a little growing strawberry. Oh, wow. There is one. I found one. Yay. Let me pull out my picture just to make sure. Strawberries. Strawberry. Woohoo. We did it. We found the three berries in our garden. Yes. Hi, I'm here on the back patio or porch of the library where it is shady and I thought I would show you an activity that kind of ties in with the berry theme. Now if you want to and you want to do this activity with real berries, that is awesome. If you, you could really do this with anything though. You could do it with rocks and flowers, just all sorts of things. It's just basic sharing. But I pulled out these big kind of oversized pom-poms. And so a neat thing to do to work on those fine motor skills, you might start off with big pom-poms and be like, um, put the blueberries or the blue pom-poms here. Which one are the red, which ones are strawberries? You could be like, put the red or put the strawberries in there. Find the blackberries. I you know, um, you could sort them like that. And then as they get older, you might start learning some other colors. You might be like, green, add some green, add some purple. Maybe those could be grapes, put them in there. And then um, as they get older and their fine motor skills and identification progress, instead of sorting by color, you could maybe put in some different sizes and sort by size. Maybe put the little berries or the little pom-poms in one container and put the big pom-poms or the big berries in another container. And as they grow older still, oh my goodness, I didn't grab it. You could use tongs or like those big oversized plastic tweezers and kid tongs. We have some here at the library, but they're right over there. Um, <laughs> you could use the tongs or the pom-poms to pick up and sort the berries. You can talk about color. You can talk about size, small, um, medium, and large. And then as they get even older still, maybe you could start talking about shades. So you might be like, um, here's a bright fluorescent green, and here's a darker green. Let's put the, the dark greens in this container and the light greens in that container. There are just a lot of different things you could do, a dark pink and a light pink to talk about the different properties or characteristics of something and separating them out. So not only are you learning vocabulary and physical characteristics, 
you're also working on fine motor skills and visual discrimination. I think this is a great thing. I love that it's an activity that can grow with your child. You can keep introducing more things. But um, so that's just a very simple way that a berry sorting activity can grow with you and your child in these early years. I hope everybody gets some outside time today. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the beautiful world um, outside of our homes. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.